Hi friends, if you were to find out uh, what sort of logs have been applied and who are the people that are using uh, your a particular table in production, uh, how would you do it? So in this session we are just going to see uh, how to retrieve the logs that have been applied on your table and who are the users and the sessions who are actually using it. Uh, to do so, uh, let me pull out a table. This is a sample table which has some uh, uh, sample data populated for a particular uh, application you can see you can call it a transaction uh, transaction table which keeps the detail of the transactions and the actual cost quantities uh, right so we'll use this table to just uh, take a look uh, now let's create uh, two locking scenarios so what i do is Let's pull out uh, the transaction ID, this one, and okay. And we say update So we are just trying, uh, going to update the actual cost for transaction ID uh, 203067 uh, and let's again pull out, uh, this would create uh, intent based exclusive lock. Let's create one more transaction. So I run this and I run this too. Now if I were if we were to find out what sort of logs that have been applied on this table, how would we do it? So to do so we'd use a DMV that is DMTran logs. So we'll Tran logs for this object uh, for for a table. So we say resource type uh, equals to object, and we say we give the table ID or the object ID. We call it resource associated entity id we object id of the table right so if we fire this query we would get the two session ids which are currently operating on this table if you see this is uh, exclusive intent based exclusive lock which has been applied by the session ID of 65 which is the update query so the session ID request session ID 65 and the six other is a intent based shared lock so we can get the locking modes uh, we can get uh, the session IDs and also the owners, uh, owner type and the other details. Now if I, once I get the session ID that is 65 and 66 I can retrieve the connection. So I can use the session DMV again from the exec I would say session where session id n I would say 65 64 65 
so I would get the details of uh, the session IDs, the login time, uh, and what sort of uh, sessions have been ex are being executed, and the other details. Now again, if I want to trace their IP addresses, I can use the connection DMV, and also if this is if this were to be coming from, uh, say, uh, an application, a website, I could get their IP addresses also. To do so, you would use the DMV uh, connections from the query would be says the dm exec connections again we, keep, we put the same where clause and fire this query so you would get this is the the type of the protocol and, and here if you were if it were to be uh, query triggered from the application you would get uh, the IP addresses through this query also so this would be helpful I mean in production environment often we would want to know what sort of logs are currently uh, applied on our on our table and if, if we are like if we are uh, working or are trying to see uh, if we can uh, kill transactions for any production deployments before many making any deployments on a production you would want to know what sort of uh, queries are being applied and what are the logs that have been applied so i think this is kind of these dmvs uh, will be helpful to you in in, in investigating uh, such scenarios thank you friends